Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we work with nature, but we are numb when it comes to what it really means. But we will find out. We take our time and we learn. We have completed this first stage of the extension of the east-west swale. Here I have to create something where the excavator can come through and also our hand-drawn fleet of vehicles, wheelbarrows and trolleys. We flattened the top of the berm and uh, just to demonstrate my obsession with not ruining plants, not killing trees, there is an anthena, holm oak, Spanish oak, and then there is another one. So I navigated this swale and the machine between the two. It's important to me. There's another one there on the berm. I just lowered the soil around it, but it's staying. It gives me joy to leave them. They have been there for 50 years or whatever time. And uh, I don't feel I've got the right to remove them. And this one also, I worked around it. Lots of clay. This is the site identified for the pond. We had rain the day before yesterday. Yesterday and today I tried to work here but um, it's too slippery. To dig is perfect but to push dirt it just doesn't work. This year we have received 264 millimeters of rain or liter per square meter that is six and a half inches the average is 550 liters per square meter that is 10 11 12 12 inches we have another six weeks to go before the year end so let's see, I brought the excavator down here because it was not in use up there in the slippery area where I want to dig a pond. And this area, soon I will plant some rye and wheat and oats, alfalfa here. But before I do that, I wanted to finish the, another project I started some time ago, to have some swells here. This is the newest edition I started this morning. It is basically an extension of the swale over there and then it comes here if I carry on with it I go into that tree so I then nose dive it here and then I will dig another one there to catch whatever is coming down there there is a creek there and the water tends to flow that direction. 
So it will be great because the next whale is up there and with the water in that swale hopefully it will assist the irrigation of the wheat and the rye I want to plant over here I'll still he remove this cistus Khara bush and uh, the area above it is set aside for natural land and this one as well we do that wherever we have some outcrop of rocks I mean we cannot use that to plant something but also it's beautiful to have a little seated area every hundred meters I like that because of the steepness of this land um, I have to dig with the excavator from that way this direction and uh, draw everything that way so that the blade can support the excavator at the back it's not too shabby it's fine the soil falls back when I fill it here now I'll just take a shovel and take this out not too much topsoil perhaps 10 centimeters and then the clay starts that is the smaller swale there's also a canal coming down so hopefully this will fill nicely it's quite a struggle because I had my fifth wasp stung this here on my middle finger and then the hand is swollen and the last one was on my tongue that was quite a surprise this is the absolute lowest spot on the land and uh, a 25 story building can go up here and then it matches the highest point and then at the lowest part of the land I made swales and people are surprised that I make swales on the lowest part and not on the highest part and the reason for that is this is where the water was flowing so the first thing I did was to stop the flow of the water a whole canal coming down here I'm happy with that decision it might not be agreed by most people especially the permacultural orientated people but it works for me and it's good here is Kai with a big foot this is from the jamon the ham so I buried several bones because the fat on these bones on the jamon they go rancid and that's not good for the muscular system of the dogs so when I bury them they decompose somehow and then uh, the bones are softer and also the rancid fat has been uh, changed by all the microbes and then they can enjoy it till next time goodbye